Now we cross over to Nakuru, right? Higgs. That's right. Now more than 30 governors are meeting in Nakuru County this morning as a crisis looms over disagreements in the allocation of revenue to the counties. And our very own reporter Miriam Nyambura has more details from the venue of the meeting. Miriam, it's good to see you. This cash crisis, the 30 governors, CJ Maraga has told them, I'm giving you seven days to figure out a way forward. What are some of the possible solutions that the governors would table, given in mind that there is now a new CS for finance as well? You can hear us. Uh, if you've had that question, please go ahead and respond. Right. A very good morning to our Higan Zinzin studio. Indeed, uh, we believe that w that is just but one of the reasons as to why they are here uh, to discuss the way forward, uh, considering that they were given seven days as at Monday uh, to resolve the current stalemate on the re uh, on the division of our revenue uh, bill. Now we understand that this is a two-day conference uh, between the governors, all the governors, and uh, we've seen according to the list is that some senators are also expected here. So really that is just but one of the issues to discuss the fiscal crisis that the looming fiscal crisis that is there among other issues of uh, or rather the challenges that is affecting devolution as well as how the uh, devolution will be implemented across all the 47 counties as well as uh, the corruption corruption issues, how to deal with uh, corruption uh, within uh, the county and uh, national levels. But uh, joining me here just to shed more light about the situation, or rather what is the way forward, uh, is uh, Kisumu Governor Nyang Nyongo, who will just tell us more. Uh, maybe kindly, Sai, if you join us here, you could start off with where are we as uh, the county governments? Where are we? Morning. Well, we are um, quite fine in implementing devolution. All the counties, everywhere I've gone, I've seen uh, growth. I've seen new services being offered to the people. I see people getting engaged in local government more than before. And I think it's a good idea. As you can see here, this hotel was never there. But even service providers have learned to customize their services to devolve government. Because that is where part of the activities of development is going on. In fact, the bulk of it. So I, I think that um, after only five or seven years of devolution, it is an enterprise worth taking. Uh, so you believe that there's more that needs to be done in the county governments to implement devolution further? Sure, sure. That's why we're here. If you see the program, we are listeners as governors. We are listening to what our colleagues in government, our colleagues in the academia, our colleagues in the private sector are saying or discussing about devolution because we want, we want to reflect. That's why this program, except for the chairman of the Council of Governors, none of us is, 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 is in the program. We are there as listeners so that we can, uh, we can at least get the sound bite from, from society that the problems we are facing, can we seek some solutions from society out there? Yeah. Uh, allow me to ask you about uh, the budget uh, allocation in the counties. Uh, just two days ago, Nakuru County, uh, the budget allocation of 21.3 uh, 21 billion was approved by the county assembly. Does that mean really that with that issue of uh, the, rev the rev division of revenue bill, does that mean that counties are facing a crisis, a financial crisis? I would say the whole nation is facing a financial crisis because you realize that without passing the division of revenue bill into an act, you cannot really have a budget. The fact that there's been controversy and a delay in passing the division of revenue bill is a national issue, affecting both the national government and the county government, affecting the people for Kenya, affecting our realization of Vision 2030. So I think this is something that we should resolve with speed, given constitutional guidance, and the principle of law and order. Yeah. Then again, uh, lastly, as we wind up, uh, we've seen uh, some governors who've been arrested on uh, grounds, alleged uh, corruption uh, scandals. What do you make of uh, corruption in the counties? Well, I mean, corruption is a disease all over, in the counties, in the private sector, in national government. And the, the, the issue is, to what extent are we going to implement uh, the, the laws that are passed by the people of Kenya to make sure that the good governance, both not just in the county, but national government as well. These are crises we are facing in the whole republic. There are laws, there are constitutional principles, but some people want to circumvent them. And I'm glad that the law enforcement agencies have woken up their task and doing proper investigation to make sure that the offenders are brought to book. 
you're given seven days the governors and senators to resolve uh, the current standoff on uh, the revenue bill uh, this is uh, uh, the fourth day that uh, has the lapsed uh, what, what do you think there's a way forward after this who gave us seven days uh, the CJ Maraga uh, no it is <laughs> misunderstanding CJ Maraga Chief Justice said please while we are waiting to hear the case on Thursday take this opportunity to continue, continue consulting it was a fatherly advice it was not a mandatory <laughs> matching orders yeah Thank you. Uh, well, that is uh, the Kisumu Governor Nyang Nyongo just shedding more light as to why uh, they are here. The, all the 47 governors uh, we've seen uh, from uh, the program is that, uh, or rather, we've seen uh, David Ndi is already here. He's one of the uh, key speakers expected to address uh, expected to address um, them as well as uh, Fred Matiangi. But really, we will keep an eye here and uh, keep our viewers up to date on uh, what uh, transpires. Uh, back to you, Higgins in studio.